Hi guys, greetings of the day. Please welcome to my YouTube channel, myself Vijay Tavardhan. And in this video session, we are going to have a small discussion about how to draw the isometric projections for the given problem. And an example is like this. A rectangular slab 100 millimeter by 80 millimeter and height 30 millimeter has a full depth coaxial square hole of sides 40 millimeter such that one of its sides of a square is parallel to one of its sides of the rectangle. Draw the isometric projections of the combination. We have a square slab and inside that square slab we have a square hole. Now the orthographic projection is going to be obtained like this. Now let me show you how to do the isometric projections of the scene. Now we know that the rectangle dimension is 100 by 80 millimeter and its height is 30 millimeter. Let me show you how to do the same. So using a line command with a 0 0.5 and a continuous line, let me draw a rectangle first. Now the 100 and angle is 30, then 80 angle is 150, then 100 angle is minus 150 and get back to the first point, otherwise 80 minus 30. Then we are going to draw one of the diagonal lines and then after drawing the diagonal lines, we are going to get the midpoint and from the midpoint, we are going to define the center of this uh, rectangle and we know that the axis is to be represented the center we are going to define the axis of a, a line like this which is in the form of a chain line now after which we need to draw our projections uh, now what i'm going to do i'm going to select only the visible edges then i'm going to make use of a move command move these visible edges from this side to a bottom portion like this and then what i'm going to do using a line command with the thickness of 0 0.5 and a continuous line I'm going to connect all the visible edges like this once I draw all the visible edges the 100 by 80 millimeter uh, rectangle of a thickness 30 millimeter has been completed now we have to construct a, a 40 mm uh, square hole for a depth of 30 millimeter so for which we have to construct a 40 mm square hole so 40 and 30 should be scattered some like this over here then 40 and angle is 150 40 minus 150 then 40 minus 30 our first part will be connected now you can see this is the required length now from the center we know that the height of the solid is again 30 millimeter is a depth of hole so we have to draw a 30 millimeter line now this is going to represent the chain line which is going to be overlapped here so i'm going to uh, make it as a chain line like this now we know that this square face is going to have a thickness of uh, 30 millimeter. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this one. Then using a move command, move this face from the top over here to the bottom like this. Now one can see that we got the square faces. Then using a line command, we are going to join these visible edges properly. And once we get the visible edges properly, the invisible edges of this hole is going to be removed like this and then what we are going to do is whatever the construction lines are there that can also be removed so now i'm going to select this and i'm going to remove it now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this square hole then using a move command i'm going to switch off the copy of move this end point of axis should be mated to this end point over here like this now i have to uh, give the proper visibility now upon giving the proper visibilities these edges are not going to be seen to us so now let me delete that one now one can see that this is what going to be the isometric projections of the given combinations now this is the isometric view or drawing it has to be selected and using a scale factor we are going to reduce it to isometric scale of 0 0.8164 times now we can get the isometric projections of the given combination now one can see that the problem is completed in all aspects except uh, one edge we have uh, not yet uh, drawn so now let me draw that edge yeah uh, this is the edge which is supposed to be drawn so here this edge is not drawn so sorry for this inconvenience yeah now it is completed in all aspects now if you are having any sort of uh, doubts to solve this problem feel free to contact me at this number and also thanks for watching this video in my youtube channel you can like and you can share and you can subscribe to my youtube channel and you can press the bell icon and you can get the latest video updates as and when it is going to be uploaded and please do subscribe don't forget and once again thanks for watching my youtube channel guys